بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهما السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال الله تبارك وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقولوا للناس حسنا Speak good and speak nice with people Research have shown that the words that you hear have an impact on your brain, not just your soul, but your brain too, a physical impact. They say that if you hear something bad, something discourteous, something impolite, something harsh and rude, some of the cells in your brain are going to get hurt. They're going to get hurt and many of them will be damaged and some of them are going to die too because of a sentence a bad sentence someone said to you physical damage not just emotional damage physical damage to the brain some of these cells are going to die because of the impact of these harsh statements or words that you hear and therefore as a result of that once many of these cells die, it is going to affect your thinking. It is going to affect your performance in this life. Some people cannot focus anymore. Some people cannot do good at their finals, their exams. Some people cannot work. They cannot go to work. So we have to be very careful. Choosing, this is exactly what the Quran says. Say good to people around you. وَقُولُوا لِلنَّاسِ حُسْنًا some, some of these harsh words come from family members. How often a father who insults, humiliates his son or his daughter, and then he would wonder, why my son is not doing good at school? Why other kids are succeeding, but my son is failing? What happened to him? He doesn't know that it is him because of the father, because of the harsh words of the father, because of the mistreatment of the father, his son is suffering, internally suffering. How often times a husband looks at his wife and he tells her, you are not smiling, you are pale, you don't look happy. He doesn't know because of his words, because of his treatments. How often times two brothers, they fight with each other. They don't speak to each other. They are grown up, not toddlers anymore. Two sisters, they don't speak to each other. Not knowing what they are going to miss. They are going to miss the most important, the most precious moments in their life. when they don't speak to each other. They miss the sibling's love, the sibling's compassion, the sibling's care. They don't know. They don't know that they are doing damage to themselves. They are losing. They are not gaining anything. 
So we have to be careful, my friends. We have to be careful and select our words carefully when we address people around us. Be very careful. Be very careful not to damage their character, not to damage their life. The reason why we have families, you know why we have families? It's mentioned in the Quran, but people do not pay attention to it. لِتَسْكُنُوا لِتَسْكُنُوا God says, I created marriage, I introduced marriage, I'm encouraging you to get married. لِتَسْكُنُوا لِتَسْكُنُوا Second, emotional, psychological shelter. Physical shelter are available. You can go to motels, to hotels, sleep, spend the night. You can sleep in your car. But emotional shelter, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا To encourage each other, to support each other. To strengthen each other. Why do we have a friendships? What is the value of the friendships? Is to rescue each other and support each other and encourage each other. Try to be a source of encouragement in your family. Don't put people down. Do not humiliate people. Don't damage their psyche. Don't damage their brains. Be a good father. Be a good mother. This is your role in this life. What is more important than bringing money, being a breadwinner to your family, is being a role model, being a supporter, being a good friend, being some, someone when they have a problem, they come to you, they seek support from you. And this is exactly what the hadith says, al-hadith al-qudsi. Inna lillahi ta'ala dhillan tahta dhilli arshihi. لا يستظل به إلا من قضى لأخيه حاجة أو نفس عنه كربة. There's a special place under the throne of God. Metaphor, of course, not physical. This is metaphor. That place is reserved for those who rush to help others, aid them, and bring them emotional relief. Emotional, not stress. Emotional relief. أو نفس عنه كربة. This is why we are Muslims. We are Muslims to support each other, not to damage each other. If you want to gain Jannah, it's not just by prayers. This prayers, my friends, is the exterior. This is not the interior. This prayers teaches me to be a better person. These prayers that we do are not the end. They are the means. The end is to be a more humble person. Allahumma khfar lil mu'mineen wal mu'minat. والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات تابع اللهم بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات اللهم وحد كلمة المسلمين على الخير والبر والصلاح والتقوى يا أرحم الراحمين وعجل في فرج إمامنا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات والشهداء ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد